Hey y'all, it's that time of the year again for the season of love and gift giving. And this tutorial will show you how to make your own bath bombs that you can give as gift to your friends or even just have to yourself for an awesome festive bath time during the holidays. So I'll be using the same recipe and ingredients as my first bath bomb which was a DIY Lush sex bomb and if you click on the image here or the link down below you'll find more information about the ingredients used and also some substitutes if you do not have these products. The mold that I'll be using for this bath bomb is this awesome Santa cake mold that I got from Superstore here in Canada for only one dollar but I'm sure you can find other molds in uh, stores such as Michaels or even Walmart. When I made my sex bomb bath bomb with this recipe it made about three bath bombs but because the Santa mold is smaller it can make four to five uh, Santa heads with a little bit left over. So after you put the dry contents together, mix that well with a whisk. And the only difference that I did for my wet ingredients is that I added a different essential oil and I made it a little bit more Christmassy with a peppermint pure essential oil. But you can most definitely use whatever oil you desire. So now you're going to mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients. And when you do that, make sure you put small droplets of the wet into the dry so that it doesn't react. And then you're going to take your spray, your water spray bottle, and you're going to do about two or three sprays until it has that consistency of wet sand in your hand. So I made a second batch of white for Santa's beard and also his hat, but you can definitely use any colors that you want or you can just make it one solid color. Because you're going to be pushing down hard on that mold, uh, it might be a little bit difficult for you to take it out in the first place. So what I did was I took a little bit of coconut oil and I just wiped it down on Santa's face and it was a little bit easier for me to get the whole thing out. Push together any cracks once you take it out and also leave it to dry for one to two days on parchment paper. These awesome molds are from the dollar store and I just used them for a little bit of what I had left over. And that's it! This is such a fun tutorial and these festive fizzies will make for great stocking stuffers or gift favors for all your party and holiday gatherings. And you can most definitely package them however you like. Here's a little demo of what it might look like in your tub and with my sex bomb I use my bigger tub so you can see that demo but to save some water I just use a little bit in a bowl and you can see it all fizzing. Please don't forget to give this video a like and also subscribe to my channel for some more awesome DIY bath bombs and just some more awesome fun arts and crafts and add me up on Facebook and Instagram. Merry Christmas!